Hey guys, hope you all are doing super well. Today I wanted to share with you guys my favorite product from each drugstore brand. So if we were gonna walk into Walmart, CVS together, and you're like, okay, what's one thing from NYX that I just need to try that you highly recommend? this is that product. Let me know in the comments below what is your favorite product from one or all of these drugstore brands. I would love to hear your guys' opinions. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let's go ahead and get into it. So if you don't know, I am such a drugstore makeup girly. I have tried so many drugstore makeup products. Some of these choices were very difficult because some of the brands have multiple products that are like holy grail status for me. So I'm going to give you my top, top favorite at the moment, but I'll also probably mention like a couple runners up honorable mentions because I couldn't leave out my babies. Also, I'm not going to be mentioning every single possible drugstore brand because some brands I haven't tried enough products from. If I've only tried one or two products from the brand, I didn't think it would be fair to say this is my favorite product because obviously I haven't tried that much. So I hope that makes sense. Let's just go ahead and get into it. Starting off with the eyeshadow that I'm wearing today from Wet n Wild. My favorite product that they make is this eyeshadow palette. They're always naked eyeshadow palette. This is such a great palette from the drugstore. And just in general, I reach for this over some of my high-end palettes. It's a 16 pan palette. You get a mixture of warm and cool tones, some mattes, some shimmers. You get one glitter, which honestly, I don't really use that often. But even if you took the glitter out, I would still say this palette is totally worth it because the mattes are so, so wonderful to work with. It's really great quality. I will say the shimmers are not like super bam, bam in your face, but for every day, it's definitely a go-to palette. Can't really go wrong. My favorite product from e.l.f. This was a tough one because e.l.f has a lot of really great products. The e.l.f. Power Grip Primer was almost my pick, but if I'm being honest with myself, the Camo Liquid Blushes are truly that product for me. They have my heart, especially the one in Dusty Rose. This is my everyday go-to blush. I love how pigmented it is. I love how it has a little bit of a satiny finish on the skin. It's not glowy or glittery, but it's definitely not fully matte. It never picks up the foundation underneath and it wears all day long. It's one of the best liquid blush formulas from the drugstore. A lot of other ones don't layer, they get patchy. This one is superbly formulated and I'm super excited to try the camo bronzers that they are launching soon because if it's anything like this formula, I know it's going to be a hit. Next up is CoverGirl. CoverGirl is one of those brands where I feel like they succeed the most in complexion products. I loved their clean, fresh, like skin milk tinted moisturizer foundation. That was really good. I love their new sticky grip primer that they launched this year. What I think stands out and is something unique to the drugstore, the Simply Ageless Skin Perfector Essence. This kind of had a viral moment earlier this year because it's like a serum-y foundation or skin tint that has the little pigment beads in it, which just looks really cool in the packaging. So it just kind of grabs your attention. But I love the way that this looks and feels on the skin. It literally feels like you're giving your skin a drink of water. If you have dry skin like me, you will definitely appreciate that. I also love how it looks so natural on the skin. It is a skin tint, so it's not going to give you a lot of coverage. It's definitely sheer to light coverage, I would say. But for every day, it just evens out the skin nicely. And it's something that I really enjoy reaching for because it's not heavy feeling. I'm a huge fan. It is a little bit pricey for the drugstore, but if you can get it on sale, I would highly recommend it. Next up is Revlon. Revlon makes some really good lipsticks. Their lip products, I feel, are top notch. If I was going to pick a category, that's what I would say, lip products for Revlon. But there is one product out of all of their products, even that reign supreme above their lip products, and that is the Skin Lights Highlighter. I have mine in the shade Daybreak Glimmer. This has been a top, top tier favorite in my makeup collection for years at this point, and I don't think I'll ever get tired of it. It is so beautiful. It is intense, but it just melts into the skin. It's not chalky. It's not dry. I have a hair. Okay. It doesn't look like it's sitting on top of the skin. It really melts into the skin beautifully. It's perfect for a more intense glam look. I think it just feels like a very luxe high-end formula. And if I was going to pick out one product from Revlon to suggest or recommend to you, it would have to be this. Next up is Alme. Actually, one of the first makeup products I tried ever was from Alme. It was their little BB cream that adjusted to your skin tone. It was white when you pumped it out, but then as you started blending it, it adjusted. 
it's kind of a gimmicky product and I don't really know how true that is if it really does match your skin but that's not what I would recommend. I would recommend these Healthy Hue blushes from Almay. This blush is amazing. It's one of the best blushes at the drugstore because it gives your skin a lifelike glow without being glittery or sparkly. It's a very thin formula, blends beautifully, it layers beautifully, it wears all day. I do wish there was more shades, but if you were looking to buy something from Almay, you definitely, definitely have to check out the Healthy Hue blushes. Flower Beauty, if you're gonna pick one thing, it has to be their Luminous Bronzers. The only downfall to this product, I would say, is that their shade range is a pile of poop. That sucks. But if you do have a fair to light, even a medium, I don't know about medium, fair to light slash medium complexion, check out the Luminous Bronzers because these reigning supreme favorites in my collection for years and years. These have been around and they will stay around because they're just so good. I have two shades. I think they only offer two shades. There's a more cool toned one, which I really love because it has a little bit of a rosy undertone. So it kind of doubles as like a bronzer blush for me. And then I have a more warm tone one. This one is in Sunswept. This one's in Sunrise. They're both beautiful depending on what tone you like. It's really the finish that, that really does it for me because it has that glowy, beautiful hourglass like finish if you've ever tried the hourglass powders you'll know what I'm talking about it just looks like life and light is radiating from your skin it is so beautiful one of my favorite bronzers in my collection drugstore high-end doesn't matter along the same lines if you're gonna pick out one product from L'Oreal and you like a glowy bronzer the L'Oreal true match bronze it bronzer it's well loved. I've hit pan. It is gorgeous. If you have fair skin or fair to light skin and you have trouble finding a bronzer that's not too red, not too orangey, try this one because the tone of this is just right. It's not gray, but it's not orange, but it's not red. It's just perfect. The formula is so creamy and it does have that glowy light from within finish. It's so beautiful. Again, the shade range sucks. So I hesitate to name this as my favorite product from the brand, but if I'm being honest, it has to be this. The hardest brand for me to pick was probably Maybelline because when I really start thinking about it, Maybelline has so many hits. I love their Superstay 24 hour skin tint. I love their brow pencil. Their Fit Me concealer was one of my favorite concealers of all time. One of the first concealers I ever fell in love with. So this one was a really hard, a really hard choice, but you need to try these Lifter liners. These are some of the best lip liners from the drugstore. I've ever tried because they are so, 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 so creamy and they set down so they're super long wearing and they have amazing shades. So many nudes and neutrals to choose from. They're gorgeous. One of my favorite products of the year, to be honest, and they remind me a lot of the new traced out lip liners from Fenty. I hesitate to say they're a dupe, but they're very, very close. Highly recommend trying these from Maybelline. LA Girl. LA Girl is an underrated drugstore brand. They have so many great things in their eyeshadow is like next level top notch. I love their little nine pan palettes. My favorite is this one in Downplay. These are their Keep It Playful eye palettes. These are amazing. If you are in the market for some affordable eyeshadows, these are really, really great. And they have a lot of different shade variations, color stories. But my top favorite product from them has to be these Perfect Precision Lip Liners. I have two shades, Sugar and Spice and Cafe. They're both gorgeous. Sugar and Spice is a little bit more of a rosy nude and Cafe is a little bit more of a warm brown. They're a wooden pencil, but they're not super dry. They don't drag or pull on the lips. They are a little stiffer, but that helps with the longevity. So they actually wear a decent amount of time, not as long as the Maybelline, but still decent. I love how just soft and blurring they look. If you don't want something super pigmented, super intense, super creamy, and you want something a little stiffer that gives you a little bit more precision, more of a powdery finish on the lips, check out the ones from LA Girl. These are like three or four bucks. You really can't beat them. And they have so many amazing shades to choose from. Essence this is one of my favorite brands from the drugstore because they always keep their prices low, which I really, really admire and respect, especially in this economy. Everything's going up. Essence somehow keeps their prices really low. And I will say Essence does a lot of things really great. They have some really great twist up eight hour matte waterproof lip liners that are really good. A lot of their eyeliners are really great. I use their extreme lasting eye pencil in But First Espresso 
all the time but i will say i think they excel the most in their powders especially in their baked powders they have some really great baked blushes that launched earlier this year that i love but the og the best of the best the pure nude baked highlighter if you're gonna pick up one product from essence it has to be this so many people have loved it for so long because it is just so 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 good it's the highlighter that i'm wearing today it gives you enough of a glow to feel like it's worthwhile putting on but it's not going to overpower your makeup look it doesn't steal the show it's like is she wearing highlighter is she not wearing highlighter it's very very demure and understated but so gorgeous it's not sparkly at all i don't know how they did it but they did it and it's amazing so this is the best product from essence and i really think this is the product that put them on the map everyone I think would love it. I did want to give an honorable mention to their new blush crushes. These launched earlier this year and I do think Essence makes really great blushes. Their baked blushes are really great if you love a glowy formula, but I had to give a shout out to this one in Caramel Latte because this is one of my new favorite nude everyday blushes. It's the perfect brownie blushy tone that has a little bit of a sheen to it. It's just gorgeous. So had to give that a shout out. Next up is Hard Candy. Hard Candy is another brand that keeps their prices really low. This one was sort of a tie in my book, but I ended up landing on the Instapout Lip Melts. These are, I don't know if you can hear that. They're like a clicky twist up lip balm, but they're more pigmented than a standard lip balm. They're very, very glossy and they feel ultra nourishing on the lips. I love these for every day because they give you that little wash of color, but it doesn't really look funny if you're not wearing any other makeup. I have the shade on again, and I think I had one in Be Mine or something. It was a little bit more pinky, but I have no idea where it went. I think it was in a pocket or a purse, and I've misplaced it. I really do love these, and I reach for them a lot, but I also wanted to give an honorable mention to the Face Off Liquid Blushes because... These are just one of my favorite liquid blush formulas from the drugstore. If you like a luminous, sheer liquid blush, you don't want something as pigmented as the camo blushes. These face-off blushes from Hard Candy are very beginner-friendly, very natural, very everyday. NYX. If I had to pick my favorite drugstore brand, it's between NYX and Maybelline. NYX just really kills it. They have great primers, great complexion products. They're so good. So, so good. My favorite product from NYX is their fat oil lip drips. They have so many amazing shades, fun, colorful shades, nude shades. I love the smell. It smells like tutti fruity candy it's just delicious and i love how glossy they are on the lips they give you just the right amount of color they're long wearing but they're not sticky i am such a big fan i love them i love them i love them highly recommend from catrice my favorite product is this tinted lip oil this gloss and glow i feel like i haven't mentioned this much on my channel but in my day-to-day -day life i do <laughs> wear this quite a bit it's a tinted lip oil that gives you that candy apple red sheer wash of color that looks so beautiful, vibrant, life-giving, youthful, leaves a little bit of a tint behind. I like that because I like to have a little bit of color on my lips. I feel like it helps just make me look not so washed out. Makeup Revolution. My favorite product from Makeup Revolution that I would recommend if you can find your shade is the IRL Filter Finish Concealer. If you like a medium coverage, semi-self-setting, natural, leaning matte concealer, I think you would really like this. It's like the perfect everyday concealer. Not not too full coverage, not too sheer. The only thing I will say, again, the shade range. Shade range is always the drawback when it comes to drugstore products, but if you can find your shade, I think this is definitely worth a shot. I also wanted to recommend their new Satin Allure lipsticks. They're a matte lipstick, but they're not drying. They're very smoothing and pillowy and cloud-like on the lips, and they have a lot of really beautiful nude shades. So this is a very close runner-up. All right, we're getting down to the wire. There's three more brands. When it comes to Physicians Formula, overall, their bronzers are amazing. Amazing. That is probably the direction I would steer any of you guys in. Specifically, my current favorite is this contour wand, actually. This is the closest dupe to the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand that I've tried because it comes out looking very, very pigmented, but it shears out beautifully, and you can still see your skin underneath. There's something about the Charlotte Tilbury that looks very natural while still having a big impact and I feel like this Physicians Formula Butter Glow Wand does the same thing. It's the bronzer that I'm wearing today. It sets down. It just looks very natural and beautiful so I really really love this. A runner-up that I have to recommend in good conscience is their Diamond Plumper Lip Glosses. They're not super plumping in the sense that they 
sting or burn the lips, but they make your lips look so full and juicy. One of the best lip gloss formulas I've ever tried. I don't have mine anymore because I used it all up and I just haven't repurchased it yet. But if I'm gonna recommend one product to you from Physicians Formula, it'll have to be the bronzers or that lip gloss. It's literally amazing. JCAT, JCAT Beauty, it has to be their Blush Mellow Soft Blushers. These are so good. I have multiple shades. They're a really unique cloud-like, pillowy, sort of bouncy texture. And they're a cream blush, but they dry down to more of a powdery finish. So if you want something a little blurring on the cheeks, you want something that's not going to slip and slide around, definitely check out these from JCAT. They're super underrated, but super good. And last but not least is Milani. Milani, again, has some amazing products. So many, so many good ones. Ones, but my all-time favorite for them from them that I have repurchased over and over again is their Make It Last setting spray. This locks your makeup in. It is as good as any high-end spray that I've tried. I love the mist. It's nice and fine and I do feel like it really helps to extend the longevity of my makeup. So yeah guys that is my top favorite product from each drugstore brand. I hope you guys found this video helpful, enjoyable, fun. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much and I hope you all are doing well. I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.